Okay, so we're gonna be answering the question on how the real estate market is today. I feel like this question gets asked more than any other question, and more specifically, today more than any other time, and let's get into it. So anytime somebody asks, how's the market? If you hear a simple answer like, oh, it's great, that's just a realtor saying that not really knowing how the market truly is. So let's divide it up between buyers, sellers, and investors. So how's the market today for buyers? Well, I will say if you remember about eight or nine months ago, there were 25 offers on every single home. Things were going 100,000 or more over asking, and it was really, really competitive, if not impossible for buyers to get a house that they want today. It's a little bit different. Competition is down, inventory is up. You're not competing against 20, 25 offers anymore. The list to close price ratio. So basically, what percentage of prices were sellers getting? It was over 100% nine months ago. Today, it's under 100%. So buyers are able to negotiate really good prices for themselves and negotiate that down. And sellers right now, to be honest with you, are willing to buy the buyer's rates down. So I know some of the buyers that are looking at these interest rates that are six, seven, maybe even a little bit higher than 7% might have a a little bit of a fear going on right now, but the ones that are going head first are realizing that sellers are paying to get your rate back down into the fives. So not only are they getting a house that's, you know, three, four percent under list price, but they're also getting interest rates that are still fives and sixes that right now where they're over 7%. So there's a lot of opportunity right now, actually, for buyers in the marketplace, the ones that are willing to take that risk. Now let's talk about sellers. So when I'm talking about 96% list to close price ratio and you're and you're selling homes for three four percent on average less than where you listed that's a lot different than where things were eight or nine months ago but initially what we've seen happen over the last two or three months sellers got caught and how did they get caught they got caught because they were putting list prices 20 25 30 40 sometimes even more thousand dollars forty thousand dollars higher than the house that sold in the neighborhood of what we'll call a comp and so today's market you can't do that anymore things are kind of plateauing out they're not crashing they're not going down but they are starting to plateau so you can't take the most recent sold floor plan and the most recent sold comp and then add fifty thousand call that your list price that doesn't work anymore you have to list it at what we call market value so basically almost essentially the same to still get um, some uh, buyer demand and yes there's still buyer demand out there and one of the re biggest reasons for, uh, why there's buyer demand out there is because inventory is still really low one of the stats that i follow is called month supply of inventory and last month in orange county for single family detached homes the month supply of inventory was 2.2 so it was still really low what's considered neutral is four so even if we doubled inventory overnight it would still then maybe slightly be favoring, favoring the buyer at that time but it's not favoring the buyer yet as far as the amount of inventory and it's actually lower in, um, uh, for the month of September than it was the month prior. So uh, is inventory starting to come back down a little bit again? And so with low inventory and still somewhat of a strong demand, it's not a terrible time to be a seller. It's just don't expect 25 offers. Don't expect 50,000 over asking. Expect maybe what should have been happening over the last couple of years of a healthy, neutral, balanced market. So you're not, sellers are still getting their price and they're still not getting their price relatively quickly. They're not sitting on the market for, you know, two months or anything like that. The average days on market for Orange County was in the 20 days. So in three weeks, you're still getting your price, still an okay time to be a seller. Um, as far as investors, we'll talk a little bit about investors. There's a reason why a ton of investors right now are going headfirst into this market instead of running away from it. And that's the biggest reason is because they're taking advantage of some, maybe some sellers that might be a little bit desperate. For the same reasons why buyers might be hitting the, the sidelines as far as fear, those that are selling right now with fear are losing and investors are taking advantage of that because they're giving all cash quick close and, and negotiating way off the price. But the sellers that are selling right now that um, aren't selling with fear and are patient, they're still doing just fine. So investors are hitting the marketplace right now pretty hard and they're looking for deals. They don't care if they're writing 50 offers in one day just to find a good deal, but there are deals to be had. So when it comes to how's the market, for buyers I'd say there's opportunity. Uh, for sellers, I would say with a little bit of patience and understanding that it's not going to sell within the first weekend anymore and you can give it two, three weeks and don't sell based off fear and be patient, you're going to get your price. And then for investors right now, they're just writing a bunch of offers on everything and finding good deals. So hopefully they answered your question. I can't wait to see what Scott's take is. Scott's take is right up here. Talk to you guys later.